Alright guys, let's try this here. Yeah, about 590 feet. What's up, happy people? We're back on the Yankee Captain. We're about 165 miles west-northwest of Key West out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Now I'm gonna start off fishing with some squid. I'm gonna show you how I do this. I'm gonna take a whole squid, just like that. Take this whole squid, and we're going to hook it on this rig. And I'll show you how we make this rig, but the key is for that squid not to spin up real bad. Take this here. Make sure there's the wings, go right through the top, twist it back around. A two hook rig, circle hooks. We're in 590 feet. I'm gonna try to use 20 ounces of lead. See if we can make it happen. If not, we'll go up and fish more lead. We're gonna start off with our electric, okay? I'm just trying to find bottom. There's bottom right there. When you're doing an exploratory trip like this, you need an electric reel. You need something that's gonna go down fast and then come up fast. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice fish right here. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Dang, I just had a heck of a bite. This is where it's so important to have a good electric reel. I lost my bait. I missed a really nice fish. Now, if I had to reel up all that line with that lead, you'd be just, just you'd be so tired you couldn't do anything. So, having good gear is essential. Now we're going straight back down. You know. You have an opportunity to come out here and fish on a boat like this. You're not out here trying to kill yourself. You're trying to have a good time. It's crazy how fast I'm able to reel it up. Oh my gosh. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. I wanna, I wanna see if I can get a double here. Come on, go back down to the bottom. That happens so fast. I don't know, I'm trying to get a double. You know what they say, greed kills. That was a nice bite. Nice, my. You've always got to be ready. Got to, I literally just caught a yellow eye snapper. Now, pitch that out here. Little white feather. <laughs> How sick is that, you guys? This is what dreams are made of. This is what, what dreams are made of. Come here. Come here. I'm about to get beat up by my mind. There's more of them right out here. I literally, I literally just hooked him and pulled him right out of the water. This right here is what they're biting. Literally, the second it hit the water, I had him. This is a little bit better one. Hey, Paul. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Hold on, you're right over there, me. That's okay. Nah. Look how beautiful that fish is.
Oh. Well, that Cuda. Cuda's gonna eat your fish. Here we go. Oh, get over here, fish. Fried my, my fingers. Look at that. Just a beautiful fish. We refer to these as peanut dolphin. This dolphin's probably about 30 days old, and he's going in the box. We stopped the boat, and it's been 100% wide open since we stopped. Oh, there's bottom right there. Push that drag up, and then, oh, look at the bite. Look at the tip of the rod. Oh, there's one. Come on, I want a big one. There, oh, that, that's a nice one there. Ooh. Look at this, man. What's your favorite part about coming out here, doing this, working on this boat? Well, I get the different stuff to see every day. You see new things every time you come out here. Yeah, so just today, just in the last hour, we've got a big old wahoo. Yeah. As many mahi mahi as we wanted to catch. Yellow eye snapper, scamp grouper. Queen, uh, a couple queen snappers. Couple queens, blue line tiles. It's a big mixed bag. A mixed bag of good fish. All you boys out there in the Cornhusker State, show them your tattoo. Come on. There it is, big red, big red. <laughs> Here you go, man. This is awesome. What are you? <laughs> you joker just bit me on the finger. So I call them snappers. <laughs> this is great. You met your new best friend over there. Yeah, the hammer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the hammer. I love it. That's a great freaking name, by the way. <laughs> when I was a kid, I hated that name. Man, uh-uh, that's a great freaking name. What y'all think? You like it? Isn't that beautiful? Two fish at the same time. Incredible. Yeah. We just came to a new spot. I'm gonna use a whole, it looks like a fire tail, big old fire tail tinker mackerel. I want something big. This is freaking awesome. Look around you. I mean, honest to goodness. Make sure you're right down on the bottom here, guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. God knows 200 miles from anything. Slick as glass. Oh, it's a beautiful snapper. Is it really? What? Holy nice. macaroni. Unfortunately, it's not season. Look at that, y'all. Unbelievable. What do we got here? You, you. Dude, look at the black fin. Kitty Mitchell, guys. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Rare. Oh, oh, my God. God. Are you kidding me? Hey. Look nice at that fish. Okay. <laughs> Killing it. Yeah. Move your fish over. Back a little bit. Yellow eye it is. Oh, yellow eye. That looks like a dog on a fish taco to me. Jordy, you got a nice fish. Get it, Jordy. Is that color of one? I thought I'd never see that day. Okay. Nice job, Jody. Nice. Here's color right here. Oh, is that a shark coming? You got, it. you got it. You got a triple. You got a triple. Oh, shoot. I got three yellow eyes here. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Triple on the front of the boat, baby. Nice yellow eyes. When I came here, this is what I dreamed of. Just dropping down, catching fish, having a great time, man. Can't wait to go back and flay some of these up. We'll be cooking in just a second, y'all. So that's one of the best eating fish in the ocean. It's a yellow eye snapper. We typically catch them in between five and 800 feet. And if, if, if it sounds like I'm losing my voice, I am. So just take my knife, same knife. I've been using it to cut bait and everything else, but uh, that's a good thing about a nice knife is it stays sharp. Come down there, the closer to the backbone, the better. 
All the guys are still over there on the rail fishing, and I'm getting ready to cook us some late lunch. Look how nice and white that meat is. I'm talking gorgeous. And it doesn't get any fresher than this. What you think, Jordan? This is kind of cool. I mean, they just came out of the water like not, not ten minutes ago, and I mean, I've never, I've never eaten nor seen any of these yellow ass snappers before. Let's see what's in his stomach here. Whoa. Oh my gosh! Baby queen. Uh, That's a baby queen snapper. What? That was in his stomach, a baby queen. The, the yellow eye has a queen in his stomach. That is sweet. See how it's got like a little bit of a yellow color in it? That yellow is fat content. Fat content equals taste content. Let's go cook this sucker. All right, you guys. So we're making a little bit of a move. We're gonna go about 10 miles. While we do that, I'm cooking fish. Check it out. It's one of those beautiful fillets. Just gonna cut it down the center and make fish fingers. Like that, perfect. Take all of our fish, put it right in there. Take some Everglades fish and chicken. I don't know if these guys have ever had Everglades fish and chicken, but they're about to. Season up nice, like that. Take your hands, get in there, get it nice. This is all-purpose flour. Woo! Heck yeah. Dredge it. This, this meal that I'm cooking right now is a recipe that my mom has been cooking for years, and it's one of my favorites. So, none of these guys really were fans of deer meat for dinner, so I want to cook them something that I know is going to be delicious. This is egg wash with a little bit of milk and a touch of seasoning. This is artificial potato flakes, potato spuds, baby red potatoes. It's going to be so good. Just throw it in there. We'll throw some of them like that. Let them just get all gooey. There you go. Oh man, this is going to be good. There you go. That's potato crusted yellow eye snapper that was caught less than an hour ago. It's going to be unbelievably good just like that, perfect. And another thing, when you're cooking on a boat like this, you never wanna fill the pan up too much because you'll splash hot oil out, start a fire, and that will piss everyone off. Take these jokers, just set them right in there. What temp do you like to heat it up? About medium, medium high, like seven out of 10. I've noticed that you use peanut oil a lot. Is, is that your favorite oil to use? Yes. The reason is peanut oil, although some people are allergic to peanut oil, if you're not allergic to it, it's great for frying fish because it has a high flash point, which means you have to get it really, really hot to burn it. Right. You don't want to burn that your keeps, oil. That keeps your, uh, like you said, keeps from burning oil so it gets that burnt taste on your yeah, food. Yeah, and you don't want it to turn black or super dark. You and, want to have and golden brown. And you can brown. still cook it hot. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Golden brown, that's what we're looking that for. Makes sense. As you can see, everyone's starting to gather around the galley. They can smell what's cooking. And this is what we're looking for. Just nice golden brown chunks of love. Now we're going to take some ponzu some Meyer lemon, and some chili paste. We're gonna start off with about a teaspoon, maybe a little more, of chili, chili paste. Then we'll take our Meyer lemon, put it in there. Just 
just like that. Now we'll take our ponzu. Just like that. And we're just gonna just gently put it over our fish. Not too much. You're just trying to give it some love. This is gonna spice it up just a little bit. Woo! You wanna talk about a beautiful setting? Check this out. Gulf of Mexico. The sun's going down, it's slick, calm, and we got a pan full of fresh yellow eye snapper. It's delicious. Like that? It's delicious. It's amazing. I'm gonna need another fish beak just to make sure that I like it. <laughs> You can't possibly have fish fresher than this. Mm -hmm. And to have a guy like these two men say that it's good means a lot. Excellent. You sure these guys back there need, need any fish? Right? <laughs> so I want to say one thing. When this fella right here stops the boat, he'll back it up, turn it sideways so that your drift is good. When your bait hits the bottom, hang on. It's the dangest thing I've ever seen. When he stops the boat, you catch fish. Let's go eat. All right, you guys. What cap say? I got the vote of approval from cap, so we'll set that right there. I just want to see you guys dig into it, tear into it. Let me know what you think, man. All right. So what is it? Yellow, yellow eye snapper crusted with dehydrated potatoes with a little uh, oh, sweet Thai nose. chili sauce. Oh, that's no, amazing. That's great. I know what kind of fish it was. I caught it. <laughs> that is freaking good. That's great. Bro. Wow. Yes, sir. Bro! Wow, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Once again, that's a home run. <laughs> wow. Love it. You know, when you get the combo of swimming around and good. Oh. Oh. good cook. That was still kicking. Right. It's still kicking. It's just nerves. Right. <laughs> that's good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think you're better than that. I can taste that uh, sweet Thai chili. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome, man. Well, hey. I want to say, I said it before I got on the boat, but it's a real honor to be on this boat with everybody. You know, whenever you do stuff like this, you create friendships that go far beyond the, the rails of this boat. You create friendships that last lifetimes sometimes. You do lots of stuff, so I'm losing my voice, and we got lots more fish to catch, so that's all I got for you guys. I guarantee you, we got four or five more videos coming just from this trip. Key West is back that way, and we're still heading that way. Yeah. But uh, we'll see you next time. Take Bye. care. God bless. We're gone.